Hey guys, it's Brendan with Seller Tools. Um, this video is about uh, accounts and sub accounts. Um, the reason why we have sub accounts and accounts is to restrict access for one, and two is not to interfere with any work that a particular person has started doing. Um, when you start keyword research, uh, we try to keep it based upon that account. That way, uh, whenever you log in, you may see the screen that someone is, is currently logged in or someone's using an account. It could be you. Um, it's just to warn that um, we definitely want to limit one person per account. That way, if you're currently in the middle of doing some keyword research or adding some keywords, um, that someone won't log in, kick you off, and you'll lose your work. We definitely want you not have to do uh, more work or do it uh, twice in a row. So thus, we have sub accounts. Sub accounts are nothing more uh, than accounts that do not have um, Amazon Seller Central access, meaning um, it's maybe a VA or an employee that is helping you in your Amazon Seller Central business, um, but does not sell on their own, okay? So you have your master account, which is of course linked to your credit card, uh, which is part of the paid program inside Seller Tools, and sub accounts, um, they're, they're free, you can have as many as you want, um, and those get granted access to seller accounts. For instance, um, here I am inside. This is my one of my credentials. Um, so this particular uh, login only has one seller central login. Um, you can definitely can have more based upon what plan you're in. Uh, but what I want to do is let's just say I have one business that is uh, my hook company and another one, which is my Coca-Cola company. Um, I could definitely have two different seller central accounts. Uh, both with two sets of products um, and let's just say you had two VAs. So what I would do is come on over here and click on sub accounts. From here I would add user um, and then punch in the person's name. So let's just say it's uh, va at gmail.com. It's my virtual assistant at gmail.com um, and click add. What that is going to do is it's going to send this person an invitation. Um, if they don't already have a, a seller account, um, it will send them an email as well. If they already have a seller tools account, um, and it will give them rights to this particular um, credential or this particular seller central. So if I had a second one here, I would click on it and then I would load my next um, seller central account. I could come up here and hit sub accounts and then click on add and then add uh, VA number two, let's just say. So you have to give access based upon what Seller Central account you're in. So if you're in Seller, seller Central account one, you'd grant access to VA number one. If you're in Seller Central account number two, you grab access to VA number two, or you could grant access to both of them, VA one and VA two, and then they would have both Seller Central's um, credentials in their drop-down menu as well. Um, so you could have, let's just say, one VA work on four different Seller Central accounts and one, another VA work on four other Seller Central accounts. So you can begin to um, have only one VA or one employee work on one particular um, Seller Central account, whereas you, you can see everything. You can modify all accounts. You can see all your accounts. You can do anything you want across all of your credentials. So hopefully that makes a little sense. So essentially, one master account which is tied to a Seller Central account. Um, and then from there, you can have as many sub accounts uh, attached to that Seller Central account so that you can get some help by those VAs and, and employees. I know it's a, a kind of a convoluted thing and I wish I could do it in front of you. I just don't have another uh, test Seller Central account um, like this one. Um, they're all live and selling real products. Um, but if you have any questions, jump into Facebook group, ask for some questions, we'll definitely help you out. Um, or you can just click here in this feedback down here and, and contact customer service. Um, thanks, guys.